Hey guys, I'm here again today with my Pilot Edge 540 and today I'm going to show you how we can install the rudder servo. I've opted to choose to install the rudder servo in the fuselage at the back. I'm putting in a gas motor so I'll have quite a bit of weight up front so that works better with the balance. There is an option to do the pull-pull as well but I will show you how to do the direct connection method. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you what we're going to need for this. To install it, you're going to need your servo that you're going to be using. In this case, I'm using an MKS DS1210. Uh, you're going to need your servo extension. This one I actually pre-made in a video. You're going to need your screws to install it. The servo does come with some, but I always prefer the socket head screws from micro fasteners. You're going to need your Allen key and your knife to cut out the covering. Some stuff that's also good to have is a little covering iron. This is my trim iron to seal once I cut out the covering. You're gonna want something with some rigidity and some length to it here to help us get the extension through the fuselage as well as some tape. I like to secure my servo extensions to the servo, so there's two methods. You can use the quick connector clips, but I'm going to opt for heat shrink today as well as my heat gun to shrink that heat shrink. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my servo here. Here's my brand new servo as well as the hardware. So I'm going to open up this hardware package. going to set the servo arms aside for now as well as the Phillips screws that it comes with. These are the other options for mounting the servo should you choose to use those. And now I'm left with the grommets. So I'm going to go ahead here and open up my servo. They have the wires all neatly wrapped around it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and install my servo grommets on these ones. So the MKS servos here, they just push on. Same thing on both sides here. Now we're going to put in the eyelets from the bottom. These ensure you don't over tighten the servo and squish all the rubber. And now we have our servo here ready to install. So now that our servo's prepped, we're going to go ahead and open up the spot in the fuselage for it. On this edge, it's down the right side, just forward of the horizontal stab. I've already located this spot, but you're going to want to make sure to be careful with your model. Once you cut the covering, you only have one shot here. It will be a rectangle the size of your servo. So I know where it is. I'm going to go ahead. I like to cut an X across mine to start. And same thing from other corner to other corner. You guys will see why I do this in a minute. Finish completely opening up the slot there. And now the heat gun, or sorry, the iron comes into play. I've had this preheating, and this allows me to actually seal my covering down. So rather than cut it all off right off the bat, I fold it over 
and I seal my edges here. This isn't necessary, but it's a step I like to take. You can just remove all the covering right off the bat and go straight to installing your servo. I find you this way, it gives you a nice clean finish. As well as it helps seal the wood from any fuel should you have some blowback here. So now you can see I've sealed off my edges. I'm gonna unplug the sealing iron and swap over to the heat gun here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the extension to my servo. Make sure you do this the right way. Once you've sealed it and it's all installed, you don't wanna be going back. So now I've got that connected. I'm gonna find a piece of heat shrink that's just a little larger than my connection. So I think that red piece is gonna be a little tight, so I'm gonna step up one to my black here. And I'm gonna slide this down to where my lead meets the servo. I'm gonna completely cover that, and now I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna heat that up with the heat gun there to shrink that, and what that'll do is that'll lock that connection together. And by doing that, you can see we've secured our servo connection together. Now we don't have to worry about it coming out in flight. Little peace of mind's always good with these airplanes. Now this is where this comes into play. Again, this is not necessary, but it's going to help me feed this servo lead right through the fuselage. Otherwise, you normally end up putting it in and sitting there shaking the airplane waiting for it to fall through. This is actually just a push rod off of another model I had. But I'm going to go ahead here and tape my end onto it. Don't need a lot of tape. It's not like I'm putting a lot of force. It's more so what I'll say a guide rod. So I've got it taped up here. Now we're going to go ahead and feed this through the hole we cut in the side of the fuselage. As you'll see now that it starts to come up actually through the fuselage here. There's holes down the side that we're going to try and get it into. And those are actually for the leads. I'm going to have to bend this push rod a little bit to get the angle I want on it. Just gonna feed that up, trying to hit the holes here. I have a long pair of forceps, which are also gonna help me out on this one. Just allows me to line up with the hole a little easier. Now we've got our lead up where we want it. Let's 
it's gonna give us a little more freedom to work. Gonna go ahead and get rid of this rod now. have our lead up in the fuselage and our servo at the back. So we're going to come back here to the rear end. And as you can see, our servo is going to set in there nicely. The one thing I would normally recommend is pre-drilling your servo hole so you don't crack the wood. Now this pilot kit, they've gone ahead and they've done that for us. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to get out our four screws. And we're going to go ahead and install them. So we're gonna tighten our first screw down, but we're not gonna fully tighten it. Leave some room for the other ones. Now we have two of the four and it should be fairly lined up. I haven't fully tightened any of these screws yet. And start doing that here. Now as we're just into an eighth inch plywood, you don't want to kill these screws. You can strip them out very easily. So we're just going to snug everything up. And there we go. Now we're going to go in a star pattern here. back over to this guy and up on to your final screw. Now we're just going to go around again and give everything one last final snug. As you can see that one's come a little loose while tightening the other ones. And there you have an installed rudder servo. I'll show you guys how to do the linkages in a video coming up.